you are aware that pure millet is common millet of India with wider industrial and household utility. It is used as feed, food and raw material in agri-based industry. Botanically, it is known as Penicetum glaucum belongs to the family Poveciae. Before taking up seed production, precise knowledge on floral biology of crop is quite essential for planning and successful implementation of seed production program. Therefore, let us first understand the floral biology of pure millet crop. It is a highly cross pollinated crop mainly by wind. The spike or ear head emerges about 10 weeks after sowing. The flowers are protogynous in nature wherein the female parts of the flower matures earlier than the male part. The styles begin to protrude 2 to 3 days later first at the top of the inflorescence and proceeds downwards. It takes nearly 2 days to complete in the entire spike. Exerted stigma remains receptive for 12 to 24 hours. Anthers usually emerge after the styles are dry. The anther emergence starts from middle of the spike and proceeds upwards and downwards. Anthesis occurs throughout the day and night with a peak between 8 pm to 2 am. In pure millet, seed production is done in both open pollinated varieties and hybrids. Seed production in varieties is very easy as compared to hybrids. Seed production in varieties is done by sowing the seeds in isolation and allowed the seed crop to open pollinate or sometimes self by bagging the panicles during flowering. In pearl millet, varieties may be either synthetics or composites. The synthetics are developed by combining more than 5 inbred lines having general combining ability. However, composites are developed by combining more than 3 to 5 inbred lines which are not tested for general combining ability. Contrary to the varietal seed production, hybrid seed production is highly skill oriented and more technology is involved. You all aware that a hybrid is defined as the first generation progeny of a cross between two genetically different identical inbreds. The individual lines are known as inbreds. Ineffective cross pollination is a major constraint in commercial hybrid seed production in many crop species. Pearl millet being a cross pollinated crop, outcrossing or hybridization is not a big issue as in self pollinated crops. However, availability of suitable pollination control mechanism is a key factor determining the success in commercial hybrid seed production. In pearl millet, breeding tool utilized for commercial hybrid seed production is cytoplasmic genetic male sterility otherwise known as three line breeding system. In this system three inbreds namely A line, B line and R line are involved in different stages of seed multiplication. A line is a male sterile line used as female line which does not produce functional pollen to set seed on its own. However, when this A line is crossed with male line called R line otherwise known as restorer line which restores the fertility in A line and sets hybrid seed in A line. Multiplication of A line can be done by crossing the A line with another male line called B line otherwise known as maintainer line which is the fertile counterpart of A line. In pure millet, Development of first cytoplasmic genetic male sterile line was reported by Burton and his co workers at Tifton, Georgia, USA. This male sterile line was known as Tift 23A. Seed multiplication is usually done in definite system known as generation system of seed production. In pure millet, seed is multiplied by adopting three generation system starting from breeder seed followed by foundation seed and certified seed. 
pearl millet being highly cross pollinated crop the chances of genetic contamination is very high in three generation system of seed multiplication production of hybrid seed by crossing a line with or line is carried out in the certified seed stage of seed production the male sterile line or or line are grown in certain planting ratio in an isolated field planting ratio may be decided by experience and pollen dispersal capacity of or line and wind velocity in india general practice is to plant six rows of a line and two rows of or line alternatively selection of suitable season for the chosen variety is very important to obtain good quality seeds the best season for seed production is november december and the flowering should not coincide either with rain or high relative humidity as it will wash out the pollen the maturation stage should coincide with dry weather the temperature of 37 degree centigrade is favorable for better seed set the land selection for seed production is very important the selected land should be free from volunteer plants hope you are aware that a volunteer plant is a plant of same crop or species growing on its own being self sown from previous crop moreover the same crop or other varieties of same crop should not have been grown in the field during the previous season if the same crop had been grown in the previous season it should have been of same variety that has been certified the kind of land selection is highly important for maintenance of genetic purity adequate irrigation and drainage facilities should be available the field should not have problem soils which are not suitable for seed production the selected land should be fertile the problem soils will lead to low pollen fertility and will adversely affect the seed set to produce genetically pure seeds it is highly essential to isolate the seed crop from possible genetic contaminants particularly at the time of flowering stage seed production plot should be isolated from other plots of same crop or any other possible genetic contaminants the seed crop of pearl millet varieties should have 400 meters of isolation for foundation class and 200 meters for certified class from fields of other varieties and the fields of same variety not conforming to varietal purity requirements for certification should be isolated by 200 and 100 meter for foundation and certified seed stages respectively on all the sides of the seed production plot for hybrid seed production the isolation requirement is 1000 meters for foundation class and 200 meters for certified class in pearl millet differential blooming dates for modifying the isolation distance is not permitted the seed used for raising a seed crop should be of known purity appropriate class and should have been obtained from authentic seed source with respective class certification seed tag and receipt it is important to use adequate quantity of seed rate to maintain optimum plant population in the field depends on the growing condition the seed rate required for unit area may vary however the direct sown crop of pearl millet varieties require a seed rate of 8 kg per hectare for hybrid seed production 6 kg of a line and 2 kg of or line seeds are required per hectare before sowing the seeds it is necessary to remove ergot and sclerotia affected seeds to prevent primary infection using common salt solution for this 1 kg of common salt is dissolved in 10 liters of water and seeds meant for sowing are added in the salt solution the ergot and sclerotia affected seeds which will float on the salt solution are collected and removed rest of the seeds which sank at the bottom are separated and thoroughly rinsed with fresh water 2 to 3 times to remove the excess salt from the seed surface after washing dry the seeds under shade before sowing the seeds are given seed treatment for various purposes 
to enhance the growth and productivity of seed crop under dry land and garden land conditions seeds are soaked in 2% potassium dihydrogen phosphate for 16 hours with a c2 solution ratio of 1 is to 0.06 and dried back to original moisture content of 8 to 9 percent. As a eco friendly treatment, seeds also fortified or hardened with 1 percent leaf extract of Prosophis juliflora and Pungamia pinnata for 16 hours. Seed treatment with chloripyripas at 4 ml per kg is also recommended against the shoot fly attack in young seedlings. To protect the seedlings against seed borne and soil borne pathogens, seeds are dry dressed with carbondazim at the rate of 2 gram per kg of seed. Seeds are also coated with azospirillum at the rate of 50 gram per kg of seed to enhance the fixing of atmospheric nitrogen in the soil. In the main field, the treated seeds are sown either in ridges and furrows or under beds and channel system. The seeds are sown at a spacing of 45 by 20 cm at a depth of 2 to 4 cm as the plant has adventitious root system. If the population is less, gap filling should be done within 10 to 15 days after sowing. In some places, seeds are also raised in nursery and transplanted in the main field with 20 to 25 days old seedlings. In case of hybrid seed production, two parental lines that is male and female lines are to be sown or transplanted in a systematic manner at appropriate planting ratio to facilitate outcrossing. Practically, a planting ratio of 6 is to 2 that is 6 rows of female and 2 rows of male line is being adopted for hybrid seed production in pearl millet. The male and female rows in the seed production plot should be perpendicular to the prevailing wind direction expected at the time of flowering. A lines are sown or transplanted at 45 by 20 cm while the male lines are sown or planted in 45 by solid row spacing. All the four sides of the hybrid seed production field should be planted with four lines of border rows with the same male line used in the main hybrid seed production field to ensure an adequate supply of pollen and to trap undesirable pollen incoming from other fields. Balanced and timely application of organic manures and optimum doses of major and micronutrients helps in production of higher quantity of good quality of seeds. Optimum application of nitrogen fertilizer is found to increase the protein content which in turn increases the germinability and vigor. Similarly, application of phosphorus and potassium increases the germinability, vigor and storability of seeds. Hence, the recommended dose of N, P, K has to be applied at appropriate growth stages for the varietal and hybrid seed production. At last plowing, 12.5 tonnes of compost per hectare has to be applied in the main field. The fertilizer requirement of seed crop is 150 50 kg of N P K per hectare in which 50 50 50 kg of N P K per hectare is applied as basal while 50 kg of N is applied after 30 to 35 days after sowing at tillering phase. The seed crop is also sprayed with 2 percent DAP twice at primordial initiation stage and thereafter at 10 days interval. In calcareous soil and in problem soils, 0.5 percent ferrous sulphate is sprayed thrice at 10 days interval from primordial initiation stage. The seed crop should be irrigated once in a week for enhanced seed set and formation of bolder grains. The critical stages of irrigation are primordial initiation, vegetative, milky and maturation stages. If the irrigation is withheld in these stages, seed set will be poor and seed size will be reduced. Application of pre-emergence herbicides control the growth of weeds up to 20 to 25 days after sowing, followed by 
one hand weeding at the time of primordial initiation keeps the seed field weed free. Weeding after boot leaf stage is not economical. Appropriate and timely plant protection measures are to be taken to control downy mildew, green ear or smut or ergot, rust and black mold diseases. As the seed set on female line depends on effective cross pollination, it is most important to synchronize the heading date of the male and female parents. However, the extent of synchronization problem between parents is comparatively less in pearl millet than in sorghum and rice due to profuse tillering habit of this crop. The flying capacity of the pollen is very high due to less weight of the pollen. Moreover, due to longer period of pollen viability and stigma receptivity, the nicking problem is less in this crop. In case of variations in flowering or heading of male and female lines, necessary steps are to be taken to adjust the flowering date for synchronization of flowering in male and female lines, especially for the hybrid combinations having parents with quite different growth durations. If parents differ in their days to 50 percent flowering by more than 3 days, staggering of sowing of dates is recommended. Sowing of male and female parents are adjusted in such a way that both the parents come to flowering at the same time. Alternatively, urea application or DAP spray or withholding of irrigation to lagging parent can also be practiced to achieve synchronization of both the parents. In pearl millet seed production, the early formed ear heads of first tillers are pulled out or removed to achieve uniform flowering of all the tillers. This practice is known as jerking. It is done 30 to 40 days after direct sowing or 20 to 25 days after transplanting. Timely and adequate roguing is extremely important in seed production. Removal of off types, rogues, voluntary plants, objectionable weeds, insect and disease infected plants must be done at every stage of crop growth namely vegetative, flowering and harvesting to avoid genetic and physical contamination. Off types can be identified through stem color, plant structure, number of leaves, auricles, nodal color, ear head size, shape and seed color etc. These are the sources of undesirable pollen and must be eliminated before pollen is produced. In hybrid seed production plot, the undesirable plants in both A and R line rows that differ from plants that are true to type are to be removed. The pollen shedders that is presence of B line plants in A line rows are also to be checked and removed to maintain genetic and physical purity of seeds. Particularly in female rows of types, volunteer plants, rogues, partials, wild types, late or early flowering plants, pollen shedders, or line plants and deceased plants are to be identified and carefully removed. Similarly, in male rows, rogues, late or early flowering plants, a line plants and deceased plants have to be roged out. The most important stages for roguing are maximum tillering, flowering and before harvesting. For certifying the seed crop, a minimum of 3 field inspections shall be made by seed certification officials. The first inspection shall be made before flowering in order to verify isolation requirements and presence of volunteer plants. The second inspection shall be made during flowering to check isolation and off types. The third inspection shall be made at maturity and prior to harvesting to verify the presence of other genetic contaminants and diseased heads. As per the field standard for the seed crop, the off types and ear heads infected with grind smut at final inspection should not exceed 0.05% in foundation stage 
and 0.01% in certified seed stage. Even if the grind smut infection is within the limit, seeds are graded with salt solution to become eligible for certification. To prevent the entry of weevil that is Cytophilus varese infestation at storage, it is advisable to advocate pre-harvest sanitation spray with chlorpyripas 20 EC and carbondazim at the rate of 10 grams per liter 10 days prior to harvest. The seed crop attains physiological maturity at 30 to 35 days after 50 percent flowering and seed moisture at this stage will be around 25 to 30 percent. This stage can be easily identified by the formation of Duncan layer at the place of attachment of seed to the ear head. The ear heads are harvested commercially when 80 percent of the ear heads are physiologically matured where the moisture content will be around 20 percent. The crop is harvested as once over harvest as uniformity will be maintained in the ear head on maturity. In hybrid seed production plot, male and female lines should be harvested separately. The male rows are harvested first and transported to separate threshing floor. Like that, female rows are harvested and threshed separately. Care should be taken to avoid admixture of female and male lines during harvest. The harvested ear heads are dried under sun and threshed with pliable stick for extraction of seeds. The moisture content of seed at the time of threshing will be 15 to 18 percent. For large scale production, mechanical threshers are used, but care should be given to avoid mechanical damage which in turn will reduce the seed quality and storability. After threshing, the seeds are dried to 8 to 10 percent moisture content either under sun or using mechanical dryers for long term storage. To get physically pure uniform sized seed which fetch higher price in the market, suitable sieves and methods are to be followed for processing of seeds. The chaff ill-filled and undersized and oversized seeds are to be removed to maintain the physical purity of the seeds to 98 to 100 percent. Mechanical grading can be done with cleaner come grader which will remove the undersized immature and chaffy seeds. The size of sieves can be changed depending on the type of the seed to obtain physically pure and uniform sized seeds. The seeds are infested with several storage pests. To protect the seeds against these pests and other storage fungal buildup, the seeds are given protective treatment with imidacloprid at the rate of 2 to 3 ml and carbamazepam at the rate of 2 gram per kg of seed as slurry treatment or as film coating with polymers. As a prophylactic measure, seeds can be fumigated to have check over storage pest. Before fumigation, we must ensure that the moisture content of the seed is not about 10 to 12 percent which may interfere with the seed quality in terms of germination. According to Seeds Act 1966, all the seeds of notified kind or varieties when sold to the farmers must meet the minimum seed certification standard for germination physical purity. Pearl millet seeds should possess a minimum physical purity of 98 percent and minimum germination of 75 percent as per the Indian minimum standards. The seed lots meeting the seed standard should be packed in a suitable container affixed with the label containing information on class of seed, variety, lot number, germination percent, physical purity percent, name of the seed producer, date of test and validity particulars. The germination percentage as given in the label is valid for 9 months and after which it has to be revalidated. After packing, seeds may either be sent to market for sale or stored safely till the next season. Pearl millet seed is a moderately good storer. Generally, pearl millet seeds store well up to 12 months depending on the genotype. However, heavy infestation of storage pests particularly of red floor weevil may reduce the storability of seed even to a month or two. 
For normal storage, jute canvas bags are used with seed moisture content reduced up to 12 percent. For prolonged storage, HTPE and poly lined gunny bags or moisture vapor proof containers are to be used with maximum permissible moisture content of 8 percent. Seeds can be stored up to 3 years if the seeds are packed in moisture proof containers and are stored at low temperature. Seeds are to be stored in the well maintained storage godown on dunnage to maintain the shelf life of seeds for a long time. Students, I hope that in this session you learnt how the quality seed production in pearl millet varieties and hybrids is done scientifically with adequate knowledge on floral biology breeding tools employed, staggering and synchronization techniques, seed production agronomy, isolation and roguing requirements, seed certification methods, harvest and post-harvest care. In the next session, let us know about the seed production technology of red gram varieties and hybrids.